previously, we measured in Dominican Sue's acceleration off the line and tackling force. And Sue's 3,200 pound impact was the biggest hit we've ever measured. Even harder than hits by Ray Lewis and Chris Jenkins. But what we really want to know is how much force can he generate off the line? To find out, I think I drew the short straw. I'm about to get in the way of a freight train. I just saw him hit the crash test dummy. And now I'm having serious second thoughts. I'm 5'8", 160, and Sue's eight inches taller and almost twice as heavy. About to launch Mr. John, 160 pound man, uh, as high as I can, and um, see if I can try and throw him through the roof. When was the last time you hit somebody 160 pounds? Uh, I don't think I ever hit anybody 160 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> looking forward to it, though. <laughs> Makes me feel good. You're looking forward to it. After getting wired up with an accelerometer to measure impact forces, it's finally time to go one-on-one -on -one against Indomitian Sue. Oh, I gotta warm up here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my God, I'm about to get crushed. I don't like that twitch. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Sue was a high school state champ in the shot put. And he shot puts my 160 pound body nearly 10 feet out of velocity of 11 miles an hour. At the peak of my flight, my head was over seven and a half feet above the ground. Courtesy of over 900 joules of energy generated by Sue. This amount of energy could launch 313 pound all pro offensive guard Steve Hutchinson over two feet in the air. It's pretty unsettling to just feel another human being throw you like a rag doll. I'm sorry, I don't wanna be in that position either. <laughs> From the looks of things, when Sue hits the NFL, he won't have any trouble throwing his weight around or anyone else's. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Brinkus.